Coming soon to Waterworks, Anne of Green Gut. The heartwarming tale of a recalcitrant orphan from that other island. A not so precious island in a not so perfect cold. Rocks? Just rocks, I guess. All up there, all up there. So, what's this wonderful place called? The gut. This is green gut? Yeah, they call it the green gut because of the slime. Oh. So the sewage just dumps right into the gut there, eh? No, oh, awful. Fish awful. Guts. Gizzards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I just keep pinching myself all day to make sure that this is real. That it is real, isn't it, Mr. Cuthbert? Yep. I was afraid of that. Oh, well, it's not like this place is in the need of change, progress, development, economic development particularly. You know, Mr. Cuthbert, I'm not a great believer in Keynesian economics. Now, I know there are many people who won't agree with me there, but really, I think it should have been left in the 19th century where it belongs, because I think we need a whole new economic outlook for this century. Don't you, Mr. Cuthbert? <laughs> A priori proviso that the environment be protected, of course. I ordered a gorilla. No, your name is Marilla. You ordered a boy. Very well, then. I'll show you up to your room. Huh? Follow Anne as the rough and rugged island life transforms her from a painfully precocious orphan into a hard-bitten toughie of the first order. It's nice here. It's small, but it's cozy. You know what I mean? We like it. Yeah. You got a face like a cabbage with two carrots hanging down. How dare you! And two parsnip tits. You're like a boiled dinner. Are you ever going to call me a boiled dinner again? Are you? Are you? No. And you got an arse like a sack of potatoes. You're like a friggin' farm on two legs. The tender tale that Lucy Maud Montgomery wrote during her agonizing withdrawal from Anne of Green Gables. I knows. I knows I put everybody. Never goes on him. Anne of Green Gut.